How to create a magical glowing effect in Photoshop. Hello and welcome. First you'll need an image with something that you want to make glow. This technique will work for anything. I've got this amazing image of a deer. The first thing we want to do is unlock our layer and then duplicate it by dragging it down to the plus sign. Now we need to select our antlers. I'm going to use the pen tool for this. As you can see, it's a little bit time consuming, but you get the best results even when you're not being perfect. Now we're going to right click and make selection, zero pixel feather radius, click OK, and then click on layer mask. I'm just going to also remove this gap here. Let's name our layers. You might want to add a LUT here, click on our deer layer. Click here, click color lookup, and then on this drop down, we have lots of different options. Choose one that's going to complement the color that you do your glow. I don't know what color I'm going to do mine yet, so I'm not going to choose one yet. The next thing we want to do is duplicate our antlers layer, so just drag it down to the plus sign, right click and convert to smart object, and then we want to change the layer style. The layer style is up to you. I'm going to try screen, see how that looks, and then we want to duplicate that layer again. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Your blur radius will depend on the size of your image. So play around until it looks how you want it to. Now we want to duplicate that layer. Double click on Gaussian Blur. Change this one to say 50. Check how that's looking. Let's do another one. So duplicate that layer again. Double click on Gaussian Blur. Try 100. You can repeat this step as much as you like. I'm going to leave it there. Now we want to group all our antler layers, highlight them all. Click on the little folder icon and let's name that antlers. Next we want to add colour to our glow, click on your group. Come down here, go to hue and saturation. Holding alt between the two layers, click to apply it to the group. Click colorize and now we can play around with these sliders until we get a colour that we like. I'm going to go for this for now but we can change it later. Now might be a good time to have another look at that LUT. I like how dark moonlight is, so we're going to go forward with this one. Now that we've darkened our image a lot, let's add a little bit more glow. We go into our antlers group and add a layer above everything else. Grab a nice soft large brush. Grab a white. Add a nice big blob in the middle. Change the layer style to soft light and reduce the opacity. Next I want to change some of the browns in the fur, so if we add another hue saturation layer above our deer layer, click on the hand, then click on the fur, we can see if we can get that a little bit more blue. I quite liked the red in the sky, so if we grab a nice big soft brush again, we're going to paint some of that back in using our layer mask. Next we want to add a few extra highlights, so if we use a smaller brush with a low flow, add a layer above everything. As we're going with blue, I'm going to grab a very, very pale blue. Start painting in some highlights. Then play around with the layer styles. I think I prefer color dodge. Start adding some highlights to the trees. Delete any bits that are a bit too bright. I think the glow might be catching. I've got some on my shoulder. Now let's add some sparkles. Create a new group. Create a couple of layers in this group. Name them small and large. On the small one, grab a small brush, grab a white, and start painting in a few different sized ones. When you're happy with how it's looking, test out some layer styles. I think we'll go with overlay. Now do the same with some large ones. Convert this to a smart object. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Play around till they look suitably out of focus and have a look at some layer styles again. I like color dodge, 
Let's dull some of them down a bit using a layer mask. Name it Sparkles. And now let's look at adding some noise. Create a new layer above everything else. Fill it with black. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and then you can have a play around with this. I'm going to go with the 25% that was already on here. Monochromatic, Gaussian. Then play around with layer styles until you like the look of it. I like Color Dodge, and I also like Linear Dodge, but it's a bit too much. So let's drop the Opacity down. That looks good. I'm just going to duplicate this layer so I can see the difference between the two. Interestingly, I really like the combination of both, so I'm going to group them and name them Grain. For the final edit, let's use Camera Raw. Hit Control, Shift, Alt and E. That will give you a flattened version. Now it seems a bit too grainy, so I'm going to delete that. Go back, have a look at these grain layers. I'm going to try this instead. Yes, I prefer that. Now we're going to make this a smart object. And go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and play around with the settings until you're happy. Click OK when you're happy. You can also play around with colour again now if you add another hue saturation layer above this. I really like this red, so I think that is finished. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next time.